Hello friends, in this video, I'm going to show you how to design this gypsy car in the Rhino. So let's get started. First up, create this 2D curve by using control point curve command from right here. And I already put a dimension for you. Uh, you need to create approximately like this. And I have already created another sketch, this one. And this two curve is approximately like the head of a fish. So you can uh, create this curve by tracing the sketch of a fish okay let's hide this dimension okay now let's create a circle by using two point circle uh, from this end point to this end point okay delete this one now let's create a line from uh, end to end now let's use a line command click right here and here and let's create one more line from this midpoint to origin Okay, now we need to uh, set a C plane for another sketch. So let's use uh, set C plane. Uh, choose a three point option. Click right here at the origin and click right here and click here. Okay, our plane has been set. And now create another 2D curve from this current view by using the same command. This curve is approximately like the one side of an egg. Now let's go to the respective view. Okay, now we need to mirror this curve to the other side. So let's use mirror command from right here. And first one will be here and the second point will be the end of this line. Okay, uh, look like very good. Now let's hide this curve. Okay, now let's set the C plane to vault off. And now let's layer all the curve. And use this command surface from never curve right here. And now you can choose any setting you want. If you satisfy the result, you can click OK. And now select this curve and go to property and hide the ISO curve. And I have already drawn a 2D sketch for the glass panel. Let me show you it. Okay, this is the sketch. Now let's change the visual style to shade it because we are going to split it. So use split command, select this surface and right click, select this curve and right click. And select this curve and hide it. Okay, uh, the result is pretty good. Now let's go to the top view. Okay, uh, let's change the visual style to shade it. And let's draw a line from the origin. Type 0 and enter. Press shift and click right here. Okay, let's uh, trim the other side of the surface. And now let's go to the front view. And change the visual style to wireframe and create another sketch, uh, this one. And now let's use split tool, select this surface and right click, select this curve and right click and hide this curve. Okay, now let's uh, go to the top view and change the visual style to shade it. Select this one and we need to scale it down. For that, we need to relocate the gizmo. So click here and choose relocate gamble and just place right here. And now select this and let's scale it down just a little bit. Okay, now we need to move it downward direction. Uh, just move it downward a little bit. Okay, now let's go to the perspective. Okay, we are going to use a uh, surface blend command from right here. Okay, select this curve and this curve. Now you can choose any setting you want. If you satisfy the result, you can click OK. Now let's go to the top view. On this view, I have created another sketch. Let me show you it. 
Okay, this is the sketch. I have created this sketch by the rounder rectangle command. Uh, you can create another shape if you want to. Now let's use projected curve command from right here. Select this two curve. Right click and select this surface and right click. Okay, now delete the curve from this section. We don't need it. Okay, now let's use split command. Select this surface. Right click and select this two curve. And right click. Now delete this curve. Uh, we don't need it anymore. If you want to, you can hide it. Okay, now let's uh, adjust this curve. Select this curve and let's go to the uh, top view. Okay, now let's uh, reset the gizmo. Just play right here. Okay, now let's scale it down this shape just a little bit like the previous one. Okay, now let's use K1 D2. Click right this point and click here and scale it down a little bit. Okay, now let's go to the frame view and move it over direction a little bit. Okay, now we can use surface plan command. Select this curve and this curve. Now you can use any setting you want. If you satisfy the result, you can click OK. Okay, now let's do the same to the other surface. I'm not going to show it. Please do it yourself uh, by using the same method. And now select all these surfaces. And let's mirror this to the other side. So choose mirror tool, type 0 and enter. And click on the installation. Okay, now we need to join the uh, flank glass panel. So select it and join it. And let's select this glass panel and move it in the positive installation. And we need to scale it down a little bit. And now let's use surface blank command one more time. And click on change option and select all these edges. And right click. Now you can choose any setting you want. If you satisfy the result, you can click OK. Okay, now select this surface and hide the ISO curve by uh, and check in this check mark. Okay, now let's go to the top view. And we need to trim the other side of this spot. So select this and use trim command and trim this spot. And now let's go to the perspective and hide this one. And now let's go to the left side view. On this view, create a circle, uh, this one. And now let's use projected curve tool. Select this curve, right click, and select this body and right click. Okay, we don't need this curve from the back side, so delete it. And now let's use split command tool. Hide this one. And select this surface, right click, and select this curve, and right click. Now delete this surface. Okay, now and hide the circle. Now let's move this circle in the installation. And if you want to, you can scale it down a little bit. It's up to you. Now we are going to use service blend tool. Before that, we have to extrude this circle. So select it and extrude it in the installation. Uh, just a little bit. Now let's use service blend command from right here. And select this curve. Uh, don't forget to choose chain option. And right click. Now you can choose any setting you want. If you satisfy the result, you can click OK. Now we need to trim the other side of this body. So let's unhide the line. Okay, and select this line. Uh, use a trim command. And let's trim this part. Okay, let's hide this line. And let's go to the perspective. 
Now let's go to the left side view. You maybe notice I have deleted the left side section. Now create this 2D sketch on this view. And use a split command. Select this surface, right click and select this curve and right click. Okay, now let's go to perspective and let's select this surface and move it in the positive X direction. And scale it down a little bit. Okay, now let's use the service plan command one more time. Slam this H and this H. And let's move this point at this section. Okay, now let's right click. And once again, you can choose any setting you want. And now let's go to the front view. On this view, create this 2D sketch for the market. Okay, now let's use the split command and select this surface, right click and select it to sketch, right click. Okay, now let's hide this sketch, we don't need it anymore. Okay, now let's go to the perspective. Uh, we need to split this surface. Now let's go to the left side view and let's create a line. Click right here and press shift and click right here. Okay, now let's go to the perspective. Use a split tool and select this two surface and right click. And now select this line and one more time, right click and hide this line. Now let's use the duplicate H command from right here. Select this H and this one too and right click now let's join this curve and let's move this all in the positive one direction use this command and set y click ok and click right here let's do the same to the back side now let's delete this to surface okay now let's use planar curve I mean service from planar curve from right here and select this curve right click let's do the same to the back side okay now uh, we are going to use uh, surface split H command select this H and click right here and here and right click okay now let's use blend surface tool select this curve and this curve and right click now you can use any setting you want if you satisfy the result, you can click OK. And now let's do the same to the back side. And now let's go to the front view. On this view, create this 2D curve for the draw, this one. Okay, now we need to offset this curve. So let's use offset tool from right here. And choose true point option, select this curve. You can offset any more you want. I'm going to use free hand technique on this. Click right here. Okay, now we need to split the surface. So use split tool, select this surface and right click, select this curve and right click. Okay, we need to delete this curve or you can hide this curve. We don't need it anymore. Okay, now we need to uh, move this curve to the inside just a little bit to create groove. So let's move it. You can move it any amount you want. Okay, now we are going to use surface blank command to fill this curve with the surface. So use Select this curve and this curve. And you can use any setting you want. If you satisfy the result, you can click OK. Now let's do the same to the other side. Please do it yourself.
Now let's use the surface blank command to fill the gap with the surface. Choose from right here. Choose chain option and select these agents. And right click. Now you can choose any setting you want. It is up to you. If you satisfy the result, you can click OK. Now let's do the same to the other gap. Please do it yourself. And now let's go to the front view. On this view, create this 2D circle to split the surface. Now let's use a split command. Select this surface and change the visual style to wireframe. And select this all circle. And right click. Okay, our face has been split. It. Okay, now let's create a sketch uh, for the air vent. I'm going to use round rectangle tool and create a sketch right here uh, between these two circles. Okay, now let's use circular array command. Select this sketch, right click and click the center. You can put any number you want. And our fill angle will be 360 degree. Okay, now we are going to split uh, this saga one more time. So change the visual style to ghost and mode. And use the split command, select this surface. And change the visual style to wireframe and select all these sketch. And right click. Now select all these scuff and hide it, or you can delete it. Now let's go to the perspective view. And now select this first surface and delete it. And now select the rest of the surface. Uh, we need to scale it up. And now let's use surface blend tool to fill this gap. Use the command from right here and select this edge and this edge and right click. Now you can use any setting you want. If you satisfy the result, you can click OK. Now we need to select the second face, delete these faces. And now select this second face. OK, select it and move it to the inside. In the positive one direction, you can move any amount you want. Okay, now let's use surface blend tool and fill this gap with the surface. It is like the previous step. Now select the surface at the center and let's move it our direction. Okay, now let's use the service plan too. Now let's go to the front view one more time and create this 2D sketch to split the same draw. Let's change the visual style to ghost and mode and use the split tool. Select this draw, right click and select this to sketch and right click. Okay, and uh, now let's go to the perspective and move this surface in the negative one direction. Okay, now let's use the surface blend tool, like the previous one. I'm going to speed up the video a little bit. You get the idea, right? Now let's go to the left side view and create this 2D sketch. It's for the suspension system. Now let's use reverse surface tool. Select this sketch. And our reverse is it will be uh, the first point will be right here and second will be right here. And start angle will be zero and revolution angle 360 degree. Now let's move this part uh, to the exact place.
Now let's go to the top view. Uh, I have created a sketch for the wheel. Let me show you it. Okay, this is the sketch. Now let's use reverse service tool. Okay, first point will be here. Second point will be in the vertical direction. And right click. Creating 2D sketch for the wheel is pretty easy. That's why I'm skipped the 2D sketch process in this video. Now let's go to the top view one more time. And on this view, create this 2D sketch. Okay, now let's use reverse service tool again. Choose from right here and click here and click in the vertical direction and right click two times. Now let's go to the front view. On this view, create 2D sketch for the rim, this one. I have used freehand technique to make this sketch. Uh, you can create any shape you want. Now select this and go to solid menu and choose S2 and choose straight. And let's extrude it. You can extrude any amount you want. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, look like I need to scale it up this center part. So let's select this and scale it up. Okay, now you can uh, combine this three body if you want to. So let's use Union 2 and select all these and right click. Now you can use filler H command to filler these edges and hide the ISO curve. 